Hey up everybody! Uh, so in this part then, uh, I told you how in previous parts I would gain all that congealed oil off it and giving it, you know, somewhat like running again. I've done that now, so I'll pick camera up in a minute and show you show you what it looks like now I've got all that grease and oil off it and, uh, and dirt. I found a vice for it and uh, what I'm going to do then when I've shown you around it and you can have a, have a look at it cleaned up. What I'm going to do after that, I'm going to uh, I'm going to redesign the base it's on, uh, and I'm thinking of making it look like a imitation industrial shaping machine, if you like, but on a smaller version. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do that yet. It's uh, still whirling around in me in me cogs up here. I'll pick camera up then and, uh, and show you it cleaned up now. It's come up quite nice now. Uh, I'm not going to paint this, I'm, uh, I'm leaving this original and I'm just going to paint the base when I've made the base. Found this vice for it, which I've had lying around for ages, not, not used. I've got all these gib screws um, tidied up. I've uh, renewed the pivot pin and I've just generally cleaned it and generally oiled it up and everything works just as it should well I'm going to take the power off it in a moment or two so I'll just show you it running before I do that so I can work on the frame and the, and the, um, the stand that it's on I'll just do a quick update where I'm up to. Uh, I'm nowhere near finished yet, but it's it's taking shape a little bit. I've got the sides made, and uh, I've been uh, working on the motor today. The motor was sat on this shelf here, and I've moved it to underneath the shelf, which has freed this up then for storage on, on here. All this has got to be filled in, and the back's got to be filled in. It's all got to be painted. Uh, so what I've been doing today then, I've, I've took this motor off and I've, I've slung it underneath the shelf and it's on a pivot mechanism. So my idea is uh, 
I've just been measuring the speed of the um, I've just been measuring the speed of the shaper with it with its existing pulleys on that I bought it with. Uh, it, just simply by counting how many strokes a minute it's doing like that. And it's actually doing about 100 strokes a minute with this uh, arrangement of pulleys. So I've got two smaller pulleys here. I may put one on, I may put two on and make a triple pulley here where I'm leaving a single pulley on the top. So my idea is I've, the, the, the belt tension is just loaded with the weight of the motor. It's pivoting on a pivot so when I want to change the belt speed to a lower speed from this one all I have to do I'm going to make, it a, make a mechanism here that will give me three positions or two positions whichever I choose and then I'll be able to just slide the motor over move the belt to the relevant pulley so it's all in line then it'll lock into position here so by putting these smaller pulleys on I'm going to come down in speed maybe that one will take me down to perhaps 80 and maybe that one will take me down to perhaps 60 uh, strokes per minute roughly speaking anyway so uh, yeah I've had all this off today and uh, I've had all the bench upside down and strengthening it up and uh, etc and making this arrangement then I'm going to take the shaper off and you'll see the mechanism I've done underneath on the motor is the bot under underneath the shelf uh, I've put a, two U clamps on with the shaft through and that shaft's clamped now to the shelf I fitted a piece of angle to the foot of the motor and bolted it on and I've welded a tube onto that angle so that the motor now pivots and also is able to slide so when I put my other one or two pulleys on I can slide it into position I shall, I will put an handle that comes to the front so it makes it easy to use I think I've just got to get the handle then slide it over then locate the handle into the next notch then I've got to obviously take my belt off of this pulley to drop it onto the next pulley I may have to cut a access hole in the side panel to do that I don't know yet I'm going to get it all stripped down again now and get the side panels and everything painted up then I've got to make the back, the front, the floor uh, a guard for the uh, belt on the top of the on the table make a, make a guard for that and I'll do all that in the next part I think so uh, if you found that useful and informative give me a subscribe and a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next part to this. So thanks for watching then. Bye for now.